Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Steph. Welcome back to my channel, The Secret Slob, and our Spring Declutter Challenge. All month, I'm working through my entire house, every single drawer, space, room, nook, cranny, going through all my stuff and decluttering what just doesn't need to live here anymore. I hope you've been working alongside me and, and having a little bit of fun too. Make sure that you head over to my website. I'll link to it below and you can grab the free printable to follow along. And if you need a little bit of extra motivation and it comes in the form of money, make sure you subscribe and comment on this video for a chance to win a $100 gift card to a local store in your area and you get to tell me what store it is. So today I'm gonna to be tackling hobbies. And my personal hobby is kind of like arts and crafts. A lot of that has to do with the fact that I have three little kids. So this is my arts and crafts area. Not very inspiring to be artistic, is it? No, so I'm gonna work through that, but you might have a different hobby. Maybe it's sports or maybe it's sewing. I, I don't know, I keep thinking of crafts. Or maybe you love board games like me, or maybe you um, play video games. Whatever your hobby is, tackle that space in your house, even for five minutes today. You can make a huge difference. All those little bits add up, and we're just gonna get our spaces nice and clean and organized, and it's just so much more fun to do your hobby when it's clean and organized and you can find things, huh, so much better. Okay, so my kind of crafts and art stuff is all part of my craft room, which is my big project I'm also tackling, so kind of killing two birds with one stone today. All right, craft room, craft supplies, art supplies, kids stuff, I might even do some of my homeschool stuff, just gonna get it all purged, nice and organized, gonna be good to go. Okay, so this is all of my kind of craft stuff and it ranges from like stuff I had before I had kids and kind of more of my like sewing stuff like this is a project that's I don't know three quarters done to more like kid stuff right like a bag of sparkles so I really want to make sure that it's organized into my stuff that I just I, I don't think my kids are old enough to be getting into and then their stuff that they can then help themselves to and also put it away that's a big goal let's see where we're at all right so one thing I think is kind of a big thing to declutter if you're into crafting and sewing and just projects is when do you decide to throw something away if it's not finished? If you started a project in like 1995 and you haven't finished it, are you going to? Do you even want it anymore? These are decisions we have to ask each other. I started this busy book project. Look at how cute it is. There's like little blackbirds in a pie with my sister. We started this when our babies were tiny our first babies and now my last baby is two and I feel like this is my last chance to get this done or else it's gonna be totally useless to me I mean I could make it for someone else but yeah so it's a decision I have to make am I gonna finish this or just get rid of it I don't know this I mean my kids could still really like this but if you have something like this and your kids are like teenagers or grown up and out of the house maybe pass it along to someone else or just you know cut your losses and say goodbye Oh, ah, look how much work I've already put. I forgot, I thought I had just started this, but look how much work I've already put into this. Maybe I should finish this. Look at that. Like, look at it. Oh, like I've already put a ton of work into that. I went to open it and I thought I had only done like this much, but I've done lots. I could finish this. The majority of these things I started before I had kids. So I'm just gonna go on the assumption that there will be a time when I will have time again, but some of these things I think can probably go. This one is so close to being done. It's a gift from my mother, if you're watching this. Mom, I meant to give you this five years ago. I'll finish it and I'll give it to you this year, promise. But I also wanna protect myself. So everything that's kind of like something I wanna work on, I'm gonna put in a bag and then I went and got these new bins from the store. I love these ones. I've used them before lots for my kids' toys and just organizing things. They're all the same size and they stack and they are always available. That's a big thing for me. I only buy containers that are always available at stores. So, you know, Walmart or Canadian Tire or something because if you buy kind of a one-off or unique kind of a bin 
and then you can't find it again, it's hard to match them later. So I have bought these before and I love them. I'm gonna put everything in this because right now I've kind of got everything in a mixture of old drawers and bins and cloth things and bags and it'll just be so nice if everything's in the same thing. Part way through, this is where we're at. So I have some boxes kind of filling. Some of these are getting empty, which is good. These are filling. And now all I have to do is kind of like tidy up, I think. So let's do that. Okay, so I've been working on it for about 20 minutes. I've made some good progress. All those bins that were over here are empty and I've kind of got everything organized into these bins that I bought. So I'm feeling good about that. I like when all the containers are the same size and kind of match. I really like these ones. I use them also for my kids' toys. So I know that I can buy them again and again and again if I wanna keep getting the same size. So now I'm going to clean all this up, put it in the shelving and then yeah, clean up the rest of the room and that's one more part of this room that's done. Look at that. Oh, it's so much better. Oh, I'm wearing my unicorn. But yeah, that is just so much more manageable, so much easier. I'm so thrilled. Um, I'm gonna just quickly clean up the floor in here and take the garbage out. And then crafts and hobbies for me is done. I hope you tackled something that maybe was a bit scary for you, like this was for me, or maybe just five minutes or even just one bin. like. One bin every day will add up to getting everything done eventually. So I hope you got something done. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below if you wanna win the $100 gift card to a store in your local area. I really want to support local businesses in this, maybe your craft store, your local hobby store. So let me know how you did. I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye.